Hey scientific brilliant people, how are you today? So here we have a vernier calipers in front of us and I am going to take a complete tutorial on what is vernier calipers, what does it do and why we prefer this against a metric scale and what wonders we can do with the help of vernier calipers. So basically we have to look at the vernier calipers from the point of view that uh, it has a multiple use and this vernier calipers uh, let us look at the part first so you see two main parts this is the scale this is just like a normal metric scale as over here so this is called main scale then we have vernier scale which is over here so this is a vernier scale right and this vernier scale has 10 or maybe 20 divisions sometimes you will find vernier calipers having 20 divisions and sometimes you will find vernier calipers having 10 divisions so i'm trying to show you look at this one this has got 10 divisions right so from 0 to 10 divisions this is called vernier scale this is called main scale and these two are called jaws these are internal jaws and i can slide it like this these are external jaws then if you pull it like this you see this as a tail and this is also called depth measuring uh, tail which actually measures the depth so it is also called depth measuring blade and uh, these are the internal and external jaws so what do we what do i have over here is i have a small cylinder I can measure the length of the cylinder by putting it in between and uh, I can measure the height of the cylinder then I can put this cylinder in between these two and find the diameter of the cylinder as well then I have this square I can measure the length of the square I can measure the diagonal length of the square then I have this small battery I can find its thickness even I can find the diameter by putting it like this I can find the diameter then here I have uh, I have a, a ring and with the help of this external jaws I can find the external diameter like this now this ring is perfectly fit like this so I can measure the external diameter then I can measure the internal diameter with the help of the jaws like this correct so make sure it is quite tight so i have measured external as well as internal diameters and if i subtract them i will get the thickness correct so this is the use of vernier calipers and we can do these many things with the help of vernier calipers now i would like to tell you that why do we use vernier calipers um, with respect to scale right uh, actually you might have understood that we cannot measure internal ex external diameter with the help of scale nor we can measure the diameter of the uh, length with the help of diameter of this uh, cylinder with the help of the scale also and first of all we will have to study some of the important terms related to this and then we will understand why do we use vernier calipers important terms related to the vernier calipers so here we have pitch least count and then the final formula we are supposed to remember now as i told you that the main scale of the uh, vernier is just a normal scale like this one so pitch means it is the smallest value of the length which can be read directly from the main scale so the main scale of the vernier calipers is identical to the main scale of the uh, metric scale right so if you want to study about the pitch you have to just look at the main scale right and least count is the property of the entire device now smallest value of length that can be measured with the help of the scale directly so suppose if i put a scale over here and this scale uh, can measure maximum length up to 15 centimeters as you can see by yourself now suppose if i put an object whose length is 15 centimeters it can accurately measure 10 centimeters it can accurately measure like this so this is roughly 14 centimeters so if i keep on cutting this marker pen 
the length gets reduced and reduced so which is the least length that i can measure 0.1 centimeter because after 0 the next division is 0.1 centimeter and between 0 and 1 there is no other division so if i keep on cutting this marker band the least distance which i can measure with the help of the scale is 0.1 centimeter because there is no other divisions between 0 and 0.1 centimeters so pitch is the least length which i can measure with the help of the main scale which is 0.1 centimeter and i know the pitch is 0.1 centimeter but there is also the formula if you can check it by yourself one unit length one unit length means the unit length is one centimeter because this length can measure uh, this scale can measure the length in centimeters so one unit is one centimeter divided by number of divisions in the unit so this is one unit and you have 10 divisions right so i am going to divide it by 10 so my answer is going to come 0 0.1 centimeter now if i want to measure least count let us study the definition first least count is the magnitude of smallest measurement which can be measured with the help of an instrument so first of all let us calculate it pitch is 0 0.1 centimeter because pitch is a characteristic of main scale and now i am supposed to check the number of divisions in the vernier scale so this is my vernier scale and i have 10 divisions right and you have another vernier calipers where you can also find 20 divisions so here i have 10 divisions so i am going to calculate it with the help of 10 divisions so my answer is 0 0.01 centimeter but suppose if i have the vernier calipers with 20 divisions on the vernier scale then 0.1 centimeter because the pitch of the pitch is a characteristic of main scale and that is not changing so it will be 0 0.005 centimeter so the pitch you have to be very careful while um, studying the pitch because if the vernier scale has 10 divisions like here pitch will be this one and 20 divisions pitch will be this one now this means what this is the least distance which you can measure with the help of uh, the vernier calipers and there is also an another method which i will be describing you shortly now i must tell you that what is the purpose if purpose of measuring length with the help of vernier calipers so suppose you have two accountant a and b now both the accountants are giving the information about your money in your bank account accountant a says that you have 1025 rupees whereas b accountant says that you have 1025 rupees and 80 paise so who is giving you more accurate answer b accountant why it is so because he is giving more digits after the decimals so more accurate answer more precise in the same way if you measure with the help of scale the least distance is 0 0.1 centimeter and here is 0 0.01 centimeter so more the digits after decimal more accurate will be your answer so <clears throat> demonstration regarding this also i have i have uh, put just after a few minutes so watch the video carefully to understand the entire part now the formula just remember the formula that whatever you measure it is equal to the main scale division plus least count into vernier scale division which is matching so the zero of the vernier which is matching with the main scale division that is the main scale division plus least count into the vernier scale division which is matching with the main scale division that is what you are supposed to put over here so i have given uh, many demonstrations um, in the upcoming parts so stay tuned right now moving on to the next part here we are going to talk about the principle of the vernier calipers so basically you see that this is an error free instrument we have zero of the vernier matching with the zero of the main scale and if you look carefully the ninth division of the main scale this is the ninth division of the main scale it is matching with the tenth division of my vernier scale so this is what is the principle so 0 0.9 centimeter distance over here is equal to the distance from zero to the tenth division over here now let us do some calculation and understand the principle so here let us theoretically discuss I showed you just now that we had 10 divisions of vernier and the 10th division of vernier was matching with the 
ninth division of the main scale. So the distance from here to here is 0.9 centimeter because the distance between any two division is 0.1 centimeter. So in this way, I have nine main scale divisions which are equal to 10 vernier scale divisions. So I will write it like this. 10 vernier scale divisions is equal to 9 main scale divisions. Right? Okay. So one vernier scale division is equal to 9 by 10 main scale division and we know that this is 0.9 times 1 MSD. This can be written as 0.9 into 1 main scale division is 0.1 centimeter. It can be also written as 1 millimeter. So 1 millimeter. So this is 0 0.9 mm or this can be also written as 0 0.09 centimeter. So this distance is 0 0.09 centimeter. Now least count there is another way as I told you before there is another way of finding the least count. So least count can also be calculated as following least count is equal to 1 MSD minus 1 vernier scale division. So which distance I am going to get? A very small distance. I can hardly show you over here. 1 main scale division minus 1 vernier scale division. Very small distance over here. So I know that 1 main scale division is 0.1 centimeter minus 0 0.09 centimeter. So I get the least count as 0. 0 0.01 centimeter in this case because I have 10 divisions. So this is the principle of vernier caliper. The 10th division of the vernier coincides with the 9th division of main scale. It is being constructed in such a way. And if you find the difference of one main scale and one vernier scale division, you get the least count. Right? And now uh, uh, we would be moving on to the, to the next part and we will measure few of the uh, measurements related to the vernier calipers. Let's begin with the measurement of the uh, cube as well as the uh, internal diameter of the ring and people you will uh, if you will learn any of the measurements then all other problems are similar so let's try to measure it now so here I have attached uh, a ring whose internal diameter is to be found like this uh, in between the inside jaws and it is comparatively very tight now I would like to bring it very close so that you can see the reading by yourself. First of all, what we are supposed to see, we will see that which reading coincides with the main scale, right? So the zero of the vernier, the zero of the vernier coincides exactly with the sixth division, right? So it can be very easily seen from here. Zero is coinciding with sixth main scale division. And if you look carefully, then the third division is matching the third of the vernier is matching with the third of the main scale right so other all are not matching perfectly but the third one is the one which is matching perfectly right so let's jot it down and find out the uh, internal diameter main scale division for the internal diameter was six centimeter i know the least count is 0 0.01 centimeter multiply by the third division was matching right so this is 6 centimeter plus 0 0.03 centimeter and my answer is 6.03 centimeter so i am getting an accuracy of two digits after the decimal now we would find out the length of the cube now so here we have a cube and i am going to put the cube in between the vernier caliper like this and then I am going to fix it like this one. Now I am going to bring it near so that you can see it very well. You can see by yourself that the length 0 of the scale 
is not matching with any of the divisions it is 1.9 and 2 so if the division is between 1.9 and 2 you can always take us lesser division so the main scale 0 the 0 of the main scale if you look carefully the 0 of the uh, sorry the 0 of the one year scale is matching with is not matching with 1.9 and 2 so we'll take it 1.9 and if you look that this is the first division second division third division and the third division is again accurately matching with the third division of the main scale correct so our main scale division would be 1.5 and the third division is accurately matching of the one year scale so let's jot it down now so the main scale division was 1.9 centimeter least count is 0 0.01 centimeter and the vernier scale division which was matching was 3 so this is 1.9 centimeter plus 0 0.03 centimeter and finally my answer is 1.93 centimeter so this is how we are getting more accuracy right had it been with the help of scale suppose if i measure this with the help of scale this is approximately 1.9 see here the problem is there are no divisions between 1.9 and 1.10 so you don't know whether it is 1.9 or 1.10 but here if you are still forced to give the answer you can you have to take it as 1.9 centimeter because 2 is slightly bigger but here more accurately more decimals after the digit you are getting here 1.9 here 1.93 centimeters so now people you can actually measure any of these uh, you know if i give you a small uh, this battery you can measure the diameter you can measure the thickness right and in the next section we are going to talk about positive and negative errors so now let's discuss on the error part it may be possible that the vernier calipers you have might have some error here I have the vernier calipers in which the zero of the main scale and zero of the vernier scale are coinciding that should be the ideal case so the zero of the main scale and the zero of the uh, vernier scale must coincide but sometimes we have some faulty say for example vernier calipers and sometimes the zero may not be matching sometimes the zero of the vernier scale may be on the right sometimes on the left so people they mostly get confused in the positive and negative error so let me brief you up very easily never mug up any concept in physics here what do you have is suppose this is a is a weighing balance so when you go to a fruit seller you might have seen these kind of weighing balances digital weighing balance right now this is the ideal one it should so it should show zero grams zero 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 grams but suppose a fruit uh, seller has an uh, error he has a weighing balance which is having error if you even don't put anything it must show zero but it is showing 100 grams correct now what does that mean this mean that if you don't put anything it must show zero but here if you are not putting anything it is showing 100 grams extra so now if i put a block of mass 500 grams i know what is the mass 500 grams here it will show correct reading 500 gram but here it will show additional 100 grams so your reading will be this now the shopkeeper knows that this 100 grams was coming extra so i need to remove 100 grams from my entire reading so i know my mass is my the mass of this block is 500 grams and it is showing 100 grams because i am the shopkeeper then the total mass would be 600 grams displayed over here out of which 100 grams which was extra i need to remove it so the original mass is 500 grams so always remember people that positive error has to be subtracted right and in this case also the zero is on the right hand side and that's why you are going to get some extra reading because zero must coincide with this one now this is already over here so when you put something in between the jaws like this suppose if i put something over here the zero should coincide with the zero of the main scale but suppose now if i put anything i get zero coinciding with something 
But if this is already on right hand side, then this reading will already go on right hand side. Then I will get an extra reading. So positive errors are supposed to be subtracted. Now, if you know what is the positive error, how will you remove it? Suppose this is the case, you have faulty vernier and the zero is on the right hand side. Then you check which division is matching. So in this case, I am having one, two, three, four, five, sixth division. So the sixth division of vernier scale is matching with the any one of the division of the main scale. Then the formula for the correction is sixth division multiplied by the least count. So I would be doing this calculation 6 multiplied by 0 0.01 centimeter. The least count can be anything also. It can be 0 0.005 also. But in this, this case, as I showed you that this vernier caliper had 10 divisions. That's why the least count is 0 0.01 centimeter. Otherwise, had it been 20 division, then this would be 0 0.005 centimeter. Now this reading is 0 0.005. 0, 06 centimeter and now what are you going to do with this one you have to subtract it from the reading that you get because positive errors are always subtracted now negative error this means this is the ideal weighing balance so if i it is showing zero so if i put a block of 500 grams it will show 500 grams over here without error but this weighing balance is already showing minus 100 so if you put a block of 500 grams mass it will show 100 grams less so it is going to show 400 gram because this faulty apparatus is showing 100 grams less so 500 will become 400 now suppose you don't know what is this and if you put it and you get reading 400 what should be the correct answer negative error this minus 100 should be added to get the complete final answer. So negative error has to be added, positive error has to be subtracted. So I have to subtract 100 grams to get my final answer and I have to add 100 grams because that was the error to get my final answer. In the same way, over here also the zero of the vernier would be on the left side of the zero of the main scale. So due to which I am going to get less reading. So that less reading I have to add it up. So what is the correction over here? This n is the total number of division in the vernier scale. So I have 10 divisions vernier scale over here minus the coinciding division 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 division is coinciding multiplied by least count is 0 0.01 centimeter. So this is 0 0.02 centimeter and this 0 0.02 centimeter has to be added. So this is represented by minus and this is represented by plus. Right. So hopefully guys, I have cleared your concept. If you have doubt, then do comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video and please do subscribe to my channel.